Ha! <coughs> Run! Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. Problem. Problem. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asit Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, Asit Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking on taking if you're new to this channel. Please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know. Gang gang. <laughs> Schoolwork wants to wound your, your faith. Schoolwork wants to press me. But the Lord said no. Because miracle don't retire Jesus. We are back again, guys. We are back again with another wedding wahala. This is my wedding industry. For those of you that are new here, yes, I'm a wedding planner and there's nothing we do not see. So let me not waste too much of your time. Let's get right into the first story, okay? The with his girlfriend on his wedding day. In this marriage, which is to feed the husband. Sir, I love the way you are posing, but I want to spray your legs. Spray your legs, sir. You are tired and you are finished. So your wife is in the kitchen. She brings something sumptuous for you to Hey, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you watch that clip? Well, there has been many speculations. And for me, I will tell you from an expert point of view, amen? So basically, what's going on there is usually what they call feeding of the couple here in Nigeria. Um, the bride is sent down to go and cut cake and take it up to the groom sometimes they make it dramatic if you have watched some of my videos you see where they make it dramatic the guy has to act like he's tired from work she'll come back she'll pet him and all of that it's fun now the only downside is this groom seems so distracted there are lots of grooms like this they like to be on top of everything and then they lose it like your wedding is just eight hours this is where having a, a best man that has eyes on the groom that knows his work this is where it comes in because when the when all eyes are on you it doesn't like this this for me i just see this as harmless like he's just carried away but this is where the, the best man would have tapped him like guy everybody's watching you do you get the kind of thing like it looks weird i know that it's not the entire picture because i i do weddings and i see sometimes some grooms are so stressed me personally i'll say give me the phone do you get that kind of thing because somebody that is stuck in traffic is calling them somebody that's the car tired i don't know why see let me even tell you those of you that are wedding guests that think it is wise to call the bride or groom on their wedding day what's up let me know your thoughts in the comment section what's really up it doesn't make sense it adds to the anxiety and then if you have somebody that it, it, it likes to be like in charge and make sure everybody is fine it's 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 just bad it's just bad but i don't think it's as bad as people are painting it oh yes it looks like he ignored her he actually does look like he ignored her because that's what i i tell people see focus on your ceremony that day everybody's going to be all right it's six hours it's over so if you miss it you've missed it and i know how this looks and some of our friends have been on chat saying no it's fine everything is okay but truly i know that everything is okay it's just that the groom was distracted and there's a way it looks guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below people have said hey she should run and leave the marriage she should do this she should do that me i don't know the whole picture but i'm just saying from an event planner point of view yes these things happen but that's why you have a best man because it's weird to see an event planner going to tell you to focus you know so have a friend your best man has to be in line he has to be the person that is always you know he will even be with your phone basically he'll be with your phone all right guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's get to the next story see what you know they spend though for bini see now money be this eh when i come with you on a, on a shop on a shop like anything see see what you know oh my god see what you know they spend when i come with you on a shop oh, shop 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 Still pack drink, come, 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 go, 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 go house. See what you now they spend. No, no, how much I collect that all. No, no, how much I collect that all. See, ha, ah, see, be people. For nice now. For nice now, I don't spend money. For now, be me. And I don't spend money. See, and I don't spend money. See. Zero one one thousand, zero five five hundred. Everything now, uh, now uh, hundred naira and fifteen naira, and they are they habilitated thirteen naira and twenty naira for being. Oh um, uh, see, uh, let me let me not even lie to you guys. This period is the worst time to get to get married in Nigeria. It's the worst time to get married. Like if you're getting married this time, it should just be that you have plenty money because this is not the best of times. There is no cash on ground, and you know that the pride of every Nigerian wedding is this cash cash brain. 
So if even if you call a baller to your wedding, they don't even feel happy that they are not balling based on. They can transfer you money, but it will not even be the same amount if they were going to spray you. Let me let's not lie, because people like this public accolade. They like this public thing of oh, the guy came, he was spraying, you know that kind of thing. That's why most times when CBN people say oh, don't spray, don't spray. I think it's this new policy that will make it a bit tougher for people to spray and then trust Lagos planners, trust Lagos people because that all one bed, that spraying is more important to them than anything. Do you know that there was a clip I saw of people that actually went to print paper money. Like if you transfer 50k, they are going to give you the paper version of the 50k so that you will spray. Like, I don't understand that. For me, it's giving weird. No, let's not do that. It's giving weird. I don't, I don't know. You can still be happy. You can still have fun with every other thing. But I know that even as Nigerians, that spraying is in our culture. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. General advice, sir. Till after the election and after all this money policy has been settled, I feel like... <laughs> this is not the time to get married yeah quote unquote this is not the time but you can get married if of course the bowling and all this thing is not a big deal because we have weddings that we are doing this period okay all right so let's get to the next story am i speaking to faith yes that's it. i got a message to read out to you from somebody that cares about you should okay I, yeah should i read it really Every time I spend with you is my favorite. The memories are forever. Being in love with you is the best feeling. It gives me reason to love myself too. It's true no one is perfect, but you are pretty close. Keep being nice and keep being you. It gets better with time. I love you. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Who, who do you think sent it? What's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> I don't know. I really <laughs> Thank you. The person said I should make you guess, you know, I mean, to call his name. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I do. don't want to guess. I don't want to. Thank you. I, you don't want to guess? I don't want to guess. I know the person that sent it. Please, I'm doing something with this phone. I'll do an assignment. You are doing something with your phone. You're doing an assignment. Okay, just say the name now since you're doing an assignment so that you can go back to your assignment. We'll, we'll talk later now. Please, now. Just say the name now. I'm leaving you already. I'm not. I'm not even disturbing your assignment. I I know, but please let me finish off. Thank you. Oh, your assignment won't let you say the name. No, I am doing something and I'm with people. Like, let me finish up. I'll be the one to flash you. All right. I wish you luck in your exams. Thank you so much. Wow, I never knew that. Um, you doing? Uh, I mean, doing your assignment will stop you from actually just calling one name and we've spoken for like three minutes i guess the name is very heavy rihanna with unfaithful coming through let's not lie ladies according to pokoli carry 18 hours in a day fear woman the other remaining hours carry and fear who no fear woman because some of some of our agenda hey so basically this guy contacted the radio personality and sent him a message to send to his girl gave um, him a number and said he wants to check something i mean i'm here and she's there i want to check maybe he has suspected that she's double dating or she's cheating or something and then he um she calls the guy uh, sorry the radio host the oap calls the lady and said oh you got a message from your love and this is what he said and she said oh thank you he now said but he asked me to tell you to say his name okay so that became difficult for her Ed, but guys what do you think about this type of testing type of calls you as a guy what do you think about it let's not even downplay the heartbreak of a man it doesn't even make any sense um doing something bad and feeling like ah his guys now they she they'll move on it's not easy you get so both parties nobody should act like a goat uh -huh. it's not if you want to break up at least break up let the other person know that you are breaking up let the two of you break up not the breakup that you are in a relationship and you're dating yourself both female and male it doesn't make sense the same thing we we're talking about yesterday with the whole people standing up and marrying on that person and all of that what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but for this particular story since his boyfriend and girlfriend um i feel like guy just move on that's the best you can do since she couldn't call a name um just move on you know just move on you know your thoughts in the comment section below let's get to the next one all right so this next one you're watching basically um it was a report from an event planner about what a bride went through her chief bridesmaid never showed up 
like guys i've told you people that wedding planning is a very spiritual process and that you should pray because all sorts of temptation used to come if you like be following me to drag flower flower color and all that don't pray yeah don't pray i'm telling you so the chief um the um, event planner wrote her chief bridesmaid never showed up her hairstylist was nowhere to be found she had a running nose and running stomach on her wedding day her wedding cake was on fire what else could go wrong her chief bridesmaid was supposed to spend the night with her in the hotel room after several calls to her a day to the event she promised to be there at least um latest 7 a.m on the wedding day our team started calling the chief bridesmaid from 5 30 to make sure she's getting ready and will be in the hotel 7 a.m as she promised she stopped taking her call at some point phone was switched off her stylist who was supposed to be at the hotel by 6 30 as agreed didn't show up her lines won't connect immediately our team swung into action got her hair done bright started having um started with a running news our team quickly um got her a bride assistant to replace the chief bridesmaid our photographer was full of humor that he made our bride laugh all the way she forgot her chief bridesmaid di disappointment abi her chief bridesmaid disappointed her wow immediately after the joining the bride started with running stomach our medical team was on ground to make sure she was okay what about the fire incident with her cake story of another story for another day imagine what would have happened if she didn't have a wedding planner on ground so would you say village people were at work here guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below After, um, apparently the follow-up to the story was that the hairstylist um had an accident but for the chief bridesmaid um rumor has it that they are still looking for her because at this point i don't even understand remember the one we did about the friendship um cutting off and all of that and people were giving different reasons one said her, her friend insisted on being on the bridal train and then didn't show up and then jackpot like some of you are just evil let me tell you the truth see it's not even f funny do you know what a chief bridesmaid is i know that see trust me some people are mean some brides eh? i've done videos on bridezillas now i know it's better you don't even take the post it's better you tell her, I will wear Shwebi. It's better you tell her, oh, let me send you 10k, let me send you 20k, I will not be around. It's better than for you to take all those things. Tell her you will show up before 7 a.m. And still, you switch off your phone. No call, nothing. Like, what will she do? It's her wedding day. If whatever she has done to you. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And like I said, if you're the brother, the father, the sister, the cousin to the bride, any time if a marriage is happening in your family, you people should pray pray there are lots of things in the air yes it can be food poisoning it can be allergies it can just be tension it can be nerves that might cause all those things there are pressure and tension and uh, um, nerves and all of stress too some brides get to see their period on their wedding day by force some people two three days to their wedding day they start breaking out they start having pimples and the rest um, um that's why for me personally i would advise you and see as long as you know that you're marrying this guy try and make, make sure as much as possible at least one month before your wedding you finish sorting out all the bills so that you can rest because if you're somebody that is prone to having stress acne your face will just be full of pimple simply because you refuse to rest if you use that last month to relax to pray to just continue to commit and then on your wedding day focus on your wife focus on your husband if anybody comes and say oh they didn't share rice they didn't give me rice and beans tell the person to come to your house later that they will eat mm -hmm. don't stress yourself don't that's not the time to be arguing with ketra that's not the time to be quarreling each other you see couples that are insulting each other that will be like oh your uncle uh, my uncle said he didn't eat during trado please this white wedding our people said they will eat more our people said in-laws are causing some problems you know i did a video with adesia and i said see family interference and what family interference will cause in marriages is even more than their own personal problem because you find out a lot of times people are coming in with this idea of hey see our people's side this is our people's side and then when you even do it equal as a, an event planner you see that one side might even go above and beyond and now go and bring another ketra so that their side is is having abundance and then this other side looks like it has scarcity it's weird guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because when it comes to wedding disappointments one of the things i always tell see wedding planning process will show you your real friends for those of you that are about to get married pray and say god please this is my new i'm not saying that you should cut off everybody but this new face let me know the people that are happy for you, especially those of you that gather, both the ones that are happy for you and the ones that are not happy for you, everybody's best friend. Because I've told the people in one video, hmm, the kind of things we hear bridesmaids say, 
if you people listen to some of your bridesmaids, my dear, only you and your husband will go to court and marry. You will not have train. You will not have bridal train. You see those crowd you're gathering. Just pray that they have right mind towards you. Just pray. So most times it's always fine, like through your your wedding planning process, you can pray to God and say, God, I want I want you to use your hand and show me a sign this period because that period, the signs are always glaring. Something like this that this chief rice may did, if she doesn't have a concrete um, um, excuse or something, it will show you the kind of person she is. She has no place in your next life. And then, Madam Chief Rice May, it's not later that you go to Instagram and start saying that your best friend cut you off after she got married because you're single. Some of those stories, is this urban behavior that you exhibited that is making people cut you off? So let's hear the two sides of the story. Guys, do you understand? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because it's very important for us to know exactly why someone is cutting you off. You can't decide to not show up for her wedding and then you come with a flimsy excuse and you're wondering why she's not talking to you and you, you, you imagine that it's because she's married and you're single. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's marine spirit behavior. Eh? Good as marine spirit behavior. Better go and wash your hair. Whether it's the old weaving that you have on your head or something that is causing you to have migraine. Don't be doing people this kind of wickedness. It's bad. I'm telling you, you see brides breaking down. Because you know how much we take up that wedding day and the pressure is a lot. And then for those of you that don't understand science, I'm telling you the truth. See, eh? <laughs> some of these things, village people hand safety inside. Why? Because I've done a wedding where <laughs> everything is fine. The moment the clients came up, the mic for the vow ceremony stopped working. It stopped. In fact, the mic eh, will take it to the back. It will work. The moment it gets close to the altar, it will stop. It was like film. It was like film. There's no so. In fact, bright scar spot on the wedding day. I say, hey. The moment I heard it, I'm like, you said what? <laughs> Anybody that is spiritually sensitive, please, man, woman, as you're getting married, marry someone that is spiritually sensitive. You're too concentrated about cloth and dress and all those weird ass things. There are stories you will hear. You, bride, they come and tell you that your car is not. All of a sudden, your car is not. Face the wall and start to pray. Face, don't make any hasty decision. Don't make hasty decision. Groom, they come and tell you, hey, that your uncle just fainted. In. See, face the wall. Before you start shouting and making, face the wall and start praying. God, give me guidance for the next step because that's where you make the worst mistake. It's very important for us to understand the times. If you like say all these things as he's saying is just nonsense. I can't, I, uh, me, I've told people before. Now my advice is not it's not compulsory. Make mistake na video. Just do see eh? no face wall. Whatever comes out, we we'll use it. It's topic now. We can teach the next person. The next person said go stop on. Do another thing. We we'll go use that topic. Teach another person. At least the truth is, at least one or two people will hear this and learn. That's that for me is my message. Do you understand, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which one of these stories resonated more with you? As a as a wedding planner, we see a lot of things. You know, in this in wedding planning industry, I see a lot of things, and I really want to encourage those of you that are waiting on the Lord for a life partner. Those of you that are about to get married. Please, let's be sensitive spiritually. You're searching, you're seeing the people that are double dating and all. May good people not fall into the trap of evil people, you know. Yes, um, that's one of the prayers. When you love somebody genuinely and you find out that you've been played, whether as a man or as a woman, it hurts a lot. You understand, it hurts a lot. But that basically is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really got acid, darling. Please check out my other videos. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.